So this is just a quick overview of the video of building a box to get rid of the pop-up headlights on the Ferrari 348. Uh, you could make this out of just about anything. I chose to make it out of plexiglass um, just so others could do it. It's fairly simple. Um, basically you're going to have two metal brackets with two bolts that go into the bolt holes that hold the original headlight flip-up. Um, that just bolts to the back of the uh, big box uh, in the car. Uh, then you have the base panel, two side panels. Um, going to cut two curved little pieces that just glue to the bottom of this to raise the lip of this up so it's almost flush with the front of the car. Um, another similar curved piece that's going to go on top uh, that the uh, lens is going to glue onto um, the other wall over here. Uh, and then you're going to have the piece back here, uh, same plexiglass with holes cut out to fit the uh, headlights, um, H4351 and H4352. One's a low beam and one's a high beam. Uh, again, I add another little strip of plastic to the top edge here just to increase the width so there's more gluing surface when we glue the lens on. Um, not on the diagram as I also put a little strips uh, back behind here so that once the um, headlights go in um, I built a little uh, bracket to hold the headlights onto the back of this. Uh, you're going to say, well why don't you put the headlights in from the front and the problem is um, with the sealed beams you can't replace the bulbs, you have to replace the whole unit. So if you fit the headlights from the front, once you seal up the box to make it weather tight so it won't fog up, um, if you lose a headlight bulb you have to cut it apart, which obviously you don't want to do. So I'm going to put the headlights in from the back and just use regular caulk so that if I lose a light bulb, I can just cut the caulk, remove it, and put another one out. Um, I'm using an epoxy to glue these panels together, uh, but then I'm sealing it with something called Fast Cure Marine 5200. I think it's made by 3M, which is like the ultimate sealer glue. Um, once that stuff cures, nothing will take it apart. Um, so we'll get started. I guess I should add, I have no idea if these are legal in your state or any other state. Um, and obviously using the tools to put this thing together, you have to be careful. I take no liability for people mangling themselves. Um, you wear your eye protection, your hearing protection, if you're painting, your respirator, all that good stuff. So before I pull my left hand headlight out, I turned it on and put a piece of blue tape where it seems to be mainly focused. Okay, first step is going to be removing the old headlamp. Um, I would advise taping edges of paint so you don't mangle any paintwork. Uh, pull your trunk lining out and then you're going to have three 10 millimeter bolts to move the water tank here, the washer tank. And then there's four 13 millimeter bolts behind here that hold the whole thing in. The only really tricky part is as you pull it out, you have to disconnect the uh, wires. There's three plugs for the motor and one plug for the uh, actual headlights. Okay, tank's out of its holder. And now you can see two lower bolts and can't quite see two upper nuts. Those four come out and then the headlight will come out. Okay, so now you've got an empty hole and you need to make a template to uh, get that curve. So there's my little cardboard template. And uh, fits pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to try and make the uh, bucket out of plastic um, just to make it easy on everybody. This is Optics um, acrylic sheet that I got at Lowe's. This is the 18 by 24 size, but it's fairly thick stuff, uh, 0.220 inches. And what I've done is I took my template and I 
marked basically the outline of the base plate here, and then I'm going to cut it out with my uh, angle grinder with cutting wheel, which will cut through anything. I also want to add, if you're trying this at home, the angle grinder with the cutting disc does pretty short work of cutting through uh, the acrylics. But uh, what it is actually doing is kind of melting it, so there's little bits of hot plastic flying off constantly. So make sure you're wearing goggles. I'd use hearing protection, and you're going to want long sleeves and gloves on, otherwise you're going to be pelted with little bits of hot plastic all over your skin, which is very uncomfortable. Okay, so looking back at the back of the headlight bucket, you can see the... Uh, for uh, holes for the original bolts, so I mangled a uh, angle bracket from Lowe's and drilled some additional holes so it'll uh, line up with the holes that were holding the headlight, and that way it's got a little shelf to hold up our little platform that's going to be the base of the bucket. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for the other side. So I have my two brackets installed, and on my piece of plexiglass stuff, I got a couple pieces of scrap material and built up the leading edge here to raise it up a little bit because there's a natural shelf here but I don't want it down this low. I want to raise it up a little closer to the top edge. So when I pop this in and it sits on the lowered stuff underneath. It's just a couple millimeters below the edge, which is where I want it. And then I just drilled a hole here and drilled a hole here for a couple uh, nutty screws to uh, fix the whole thing into place. Look at the nose of the car here and I just have a uh, styrofoam square on it and I put my level on top of that just to make sure that uh, things are relatively level. So. My platform here is here, and it is level. That's installed. Put the brackets in Okay, the so now that we have our base roughed in, put your rather stripping back on your uh, trunk edge here, and put your bottle back where it's supposed to be for the moment. Shut your trunk. And then we're going to make a template for the panel that's going to go in that area. So put your cardboard up against the uh, trunk there and scribe on the outside with a pen. And then when you turn around you should have a good approximation of the contour. Just remember that that's going to be the top edge of the plastic cover. So you're going to want to bring it down a couple millimeters for the actual top of the uh, wall here so that the plexiglass can sit on top of it and the whole thing be flush. Okay, so I have my inner fence here and I'm going to glue it into place. Um, before I did that, I peeled back some of the protective paper here because obviously you don't want to be gluing under the plastic uh, coating stuff. And also roughed it up a little bit with um, some sandpaper so it'll get a decent grip. Okay, and then I used a piece of cardboard to make a template for this side. So that'll fit like that. Now if you look carefully there is a bit of a curve on this side. So I just used a heat gun uh, and heated the middle here and put just a little bit of a curve in the uh, plastic so it'll fit properly. 